spiritual leaders of world and traditional religions, politicians, heads of international organi organizations. Guided by our shared desire for a just, peaceful, secure, and prosperous world, affirming the importance of shared values in the spiritual and social development of humankind, recognizing the necessity of countering and overcoming intolerance, xenophobia, discrimination, and conflicts based on ethnic, religious, and cultural differences, respecting the richness of religious and cultural diversity, realizing that acts of charity, compassion, mercy, justice, and solidarity contribute to the rapprochement of peoples and societies, recognizing the value of education and spirituality for personal and interreligious development, declare the following. Number one, we will make every effort to ensure that the Congress of the Leaders of World and Traditional Religions continues its regular activities for the benefit of peace and dialogue between religions, cultures, and civilizations. Number 10, we note that pluralism and differences in religion, skin color, gender, race, and language are expressions of the wisdom of God's will in creation. Thus, any incidence of coercion to a particular religion and religious doctrine is unacceptable. 19. We proceed from the immutable fact that the Almighty created all people equal, regardless of their racial, religious, ethnic, or other affiliation or social status. Therefore, tolerance, respect, and mutual understanding underpin all religious teaching. And 35. We confirm our collective interest in continuing the activities of the Congress of the Leaders of World and Traditional Religions and our intention to convene the next 8th Congress in 2025 in the capital of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan. This declaration was adopted by the majority of the delegates of the 7th Congress of the Leaders of World and Traditional Religions and is being transmitted to the authorities, political leaders, and religious figures around the world, relevant regional and international organizations, civil society organizations, religious associations, and leading experts.